We're going to try to, when Derek comes in, we're, our hope, I guess, as far as this goes, is to be able to prove a concept around me on social media, pretty much. What we're trying to do is get attention through thoughtfulness around real estate and business, right? Mm -hmm. So so in that, we're going to bring people in, like Derek, you right. know, like, uh, you know, my trainer, he, he and his wife want to be social media type. You know, they want to develop some brands around social media. He's got the bodybuilding biologist, okay. right? And mm -hmm. like these, these other things. So we want to get really good based on like what we're doing with me to help others. Like Derek, Derek, in my opinion, is one of the most talented, thoughtful, funny, funniest guys I've ever met, right? But he's only got 400. He doesn't have 400 people on his Instagram. And really, for me to outpace him, even though I've got more content on Instagram, that shows like the theory works, you know. And like, so if we can, if we can really blow this up for us on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok, then we'll have real weight behind. Hey, Derek, this is what we did. This is what you need to do. Here's our game plan for you. Go, go execute that. We'll help you where we can. And these are our fees to do it. Yeah. Right. Because like right now, it's really hard for us to come and say like look at what we're doing, it's proven to be effective because in the grand scheme of things, our numbers are really low. Yeah. But on the opposite side of that, I've sat through the classes, I've listened to the people, I've gone to school for this. It's like, and I'm like building these strategies because like the strategy that I would prepare for like Derek and even uh, like your trainer, both all three of you, I would build your social media strategies completely differently. Oh yeah, definitely. Because like for Derek, like, okay, like for you, for example. So for you, uh, like your social media strategy is like Facebook advertising, right? So that's like where you do a lot of your business. And I'm trying to mo move more towards like LinkedIn because LinkedIn's used for a lot of business to business work. Yeah. So business to business could be you helping sell like giant pieces of land yeah. or something like that for businesses looking to, you know, expand, do whatever they want. Yeah. So LinkedIn and then Instagram and YouTube is kind of where we do like the for fun content, I, I would say, like that's where we do our podcast. That's where we get our name out and Instagram. But like for Derek, well, and you know, like TikTok for you is more like, I would almost say funny slash uh, informative. So like you would give pieces of advice out on TikTok, be like, this is what I would do in like this span of like 60 seconds. Right. Like that's the plan that we're working on for you. But like for Derek, you know, his TikToks would be a funny bit that's like 60 seconds or less. Yeah. Instagram is going to be where he thrives because Instagram, you know, is where you see all the, like the entertaining content. And then on Facebook and LinkedIn would be where he does like his networking for like shows and stuff. Yeah. I mean, you would you could do the and you know, they go like back and forth in yeah. terms of what you can do. But like when like when you get down to the core of it, that's where it would be. And like your um your trainer like TikTok for him would be like quick workouts under 60 seconds, you know, Instagram well, stories of just like... having him out with his animals. He's passionate about turtles. Okay. So like, you know, doing things with turtles and like doing voiceover, funny voiceovers with the turtle when he's feeding them. Like he's got this video that he put on his stories with a, with a turtle eating a carrot. Mm -hmm. And it was hilarious. I mean, the turtle snapping off the carrot and him kind of giggling in the background where you couldn't see him, it was hilarious. It was funny. If that was on a proper channel, it would have gotten tons of views, and then he could have drove them to YouTube or Instagram or wherever he wants them to monetize. Right. You know, he can even monetize on TikTok. I mean, I just I think the, the, the level of attention and reach on TikTok right now is probably where everybody needs to start because you can actually be the next, you know, dog face 420, you know, with the cranberry juice and the skateboard. Yeah. You know, like that's uh, that was amazing what he was able to accomplish. Yeah, yeah. No, I definitely think that I think right now biggest like social media drivers are like TikTok. Uh, if I had to pick a second one, it would be between Instagram and YouTube. Yeah. But like, see, it all depends too on like where you have the most attention. Where you have the most attention is obviously where I would start first. Like for you, you have the most attention on Facebook right now. Yeah. Because that's where all your advertising dollars are going. Yeah. So Facebook is the main driver. That's what drives traffic to YouTube, Instagram. Well, Instagram's kind of, I've kind of gotten it to the point where it's, it's kind of self-sufficient. It's doing its own thing. Yeah. Um, but like TikTok, it would, it drives traffic to TikTok when I put out the follow me on TikTok on there. So it's yeah, it's all dependent, and I would have to like talk with Derek on like building out a strategy. I'd be like, okay, what's your biggest platform? And then for him, I'd be like, I need you to focus on TikTok, and if he's not spending money, 
But yeah. like for you, you're spending money. So I would say focus on Facebook and Instagram and then drive traffic to the other See, places. See, we're, we're trying to do two, two or three different things. You know, I got to continue to sell real estate. Right. And then I'm trying to develop a social, uh, like a, a personal brand that maybe takes me beyond real estate sales and goes into like um, real estate lifestyle coach, you know, right. that type thing. Like, you know, this is what I've accomplished. You know, I've, I've generated 35 million in sales in one year. In, in one 12 month span, I'm actually an authority. So like, you know, my advice is solid because I've been able to do it and these are my real world examples. Right, that's why I've been such a big proponent of like building out a plan to bring on other real estate agents. Yeah. So that way we can transition you more to towards social media. So that way they're bringing in other revenue and then we can focus on what we're doing on social media. And then it even it even like kind of goes hand in hand because if you're helping them and then they start doing well, then you go to Instagram and be like, look at what I've done for this person. I've already done it. And then people on Instagram are like, oh, he's already done that for someone else. He yeah. could do that for me over yeah. the internet. Yeah. So like it's like all these things when you start looking at it on like a because for me, I always look at everything on a macro. I don't focus on the micro, like what the content's about. Yeah. I only focus on what the content's about when it comes time to like, okay, what are we, this, what are we doing right now? So like I'm, I'm looking at like big strategy things like, okay, how do all these social medias come in together and play with each other? Because essentially that's what they do is they all kind of help each other out to grow, except for TikTok. TikTok is kind of like on its own over here, doing its own thing, just growing by itself. Yeah. Eventually TikTok's going to come in with everyone else and it's like, okay, TikTok's helping grow these platforms. Even though it does, I mean, it's kind of hard to explain, but like TikTok's doesn't need all these other platforms to grow. Right. But eventually it will need those other platforms to grow because I'm sure something will change. Well, like I said, like people have built social media, like personal brands on TikTok and they're driving them to YouTube, you know? Well, uh, when it comes to social media brands, I think social media brands are grown like at your desk. I don't think there is an app that grows a brand I think the app is the catalyst for growing that brand, but that brand will only grow as if the core content is valuable. Yeah. So. Or entertaining. Or entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. entertaining or valuable. And if you can, and if you can bring both of them to the table, then home run. Exactly, and yeah. that and that's when you see those people like blow up. Yeah. Except for you know, and you got these you got these people that are like they go viral really fast, yeah. and then they start doing all this stuff. But it's where they go after that is what's always interesting yeah. because if they haven't set a like. I use set as a desk as like a metaphor, but if they haven't set at a desk and worked out what they want their brand to be, when they blow up accidentally, after that, there's no, nothing happens. It, they, they become like, oh, who was that guy? Right. Because Dogface420, you know, really popular right now. But the, my question is, is, has he figured out what he wants his brand to be? Yeah. And then how is he going to capitalize he, on he that? He has mentioned Gary V. So Right. Like, like so he, he, he he's influenced yeah. by like content creation, but now can he now can he capitalize on that heat that he's got with no strategy? Hopefully he right. has a strategy. Yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of people listen to Gary Vee, but not a lot of people don't listen to what Gary Vee is saying. Yeah. Like, or they don't do what he's saying. Yeah. A lot of people listen. It's to hard. Him. It's hard to do. I mean, look right. at what we're doing. I mean, this is this is like years of hearing Gary V and loving loving the guy and like you know I bought it I, I, I've got all his swag I bought I bought like two pairs of his shoes you know like so I'm like I'm all in on like that whole narrative and like executing this is just a direct result of hearing him but it's cost a lot of time it's cost money like it, it's cost a lot of like just mind space you know so I, I mean it definitely takes some very heavy thought. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, basically, since I got here, I listened to Gary Vee, and it's like, I already knew that lots of content is definitely the way to go, and then repurposing it on all different social media platforms is definitely the strategy, but he provided, like, a PDF, and it was, like, it was all written out, and I was like, oh, this looks much better than what I have going on in here. Yeah. I was like, because I can see it on a piece of paper. So doing that, and then coming in here, and then restructuring like the basically the brand strategy is based off of that is kind of what i've done and i was just from like um i think i was here for like a month and then i found that yeah and then i started working on the plan to do it right 